Hey everybody, what's up? Chili Dude 27 here, bringing you more Ratchet and Clank. In the last episode, we came to Planet Orkson and failed miserably at trying to do anything here. And in this episode, I will be not failing, hopefully. Okay, okay, um. <coughs> break these boxes. Blaster you. Bam! We're having crab tonight, boys. Yeah, you ever wonder where Law. Yeah. You ever wonder where Long John Silvers gets that crappy crab? You know, that, that, that sick excuse for meat that they call crab? Yeah, it's from Planet Orkson. That's why it tastes so disgusting. Ha ha ha. Like, anti-imperialism. Okay, you want to shoot out these little blue things, you know, the things that go, eh, eh, and that, because they will wake up the other crabs. However, you know, the crabs will wake up anyways if you try to start shooting them. Or if you touch him, because you know, nobody likes crabs. <laughs> That's what she said. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna shoot y'all. Shoot all of you. They should die. Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! They're still alive! They're still alive! I'm sorry. And they just go back to sleep. How stupid. Hey! Hey, Steve! Yeah? Is that guy trying to shoot us? I don't know, man. Just go back to sleep. Yeah. Eh. Oh, what whatever. Okay. Now, did... See, did the Blarg really think that this was a good security system and that nobody would ever notice that those were just there? You know? Hmm, how do we shut down this force field? I got some mm. free Maybe those things are the power source. Nah, there's gotta be uh, some sort of wall outlet around here somewhere. <sighs> yeah. Whatever, I'm just gonna fill up on ammo. So I can, you know, make some crabs. Cause who doesn't love crabs? I like crabs. Do you like crabs? I like crabs. Crabs are nature's fruit! I just, you know, these things remind me a lot of the ones in Sly Cooper, the ones where, like, you know, you blast them with the little corn dog shooter or whatever it is on your sub, and they just blow apart, and the only thing that's left is the claws, and they just bounce away. It's just so funny. Okay, you do not want to wake these guys. Don't take your chances with this. What you want to do here is you want to shoot this guy, and then just spray this whole area with bullets. Just do all of it, and just blow them to bits. Okay? Alright, you got it. Niceness. Awesome sauce. Alright. So. Here we have our first instance of using the Magna Boots. The Magna Boots basically just, you know, allow you to walk very slowly. Insomniac, why did you do this? Sure, they fixed their mistake in Ratchet 2, Ratchet 3, Ratchet Deadlock, and pretty much every other Ratchet game that they made because, you know, Ratchet actually walks at his real speed when he's just going up the wall. It's just kind of like walking up a wall in Super Mario Galaxy. Excuse me, flying chicken bird pterodactyl things? Whatever. Do I, I, I say that a lot, don't I? I just say it just like whatever, like some sort of valley girl. I am thoroughly disgusted by myself. I disgust myself. How's that for... How is that for self-confidence, alright? Yeah, you just need to believe in yourself. I'm disgusting. No, you're not. You're beautiful. No, I'm freaking not. I'm disgusting. I disgust even myself. You're beautiful on the inside. Shut up! Just shut up! I got off topic. So, that's your plank. Yeah, um, you know, smack the birds with your wrench. Jeez, the EPA would have my head for this. I mean, blowing crabs apart with shotguns, killing birds with our giant wrench. Jeez, sending, you know, bounty hunters after the crabs in the form of small robots. How did the EPA not ban this game from stores? I am very disappointed in you. 
Also in the WPF, Wildlife Protection Federation, I think they're called. Yeah, you guys didn't do a very uh, you, know, you guys didn't exactly do a bang up job either. This is the kind of violence that begets a society. And I really don't understand why that infobot runs from you. I mean, I can understand if you know you just have to go through this, but seriously, why do they have the infobot there to taunt you? Okay, you know what? Fly, my pretties. Fly once more. Oh, don't explode into the wall. Okay. Fly, my pretties. Fly. Alright, go get him. Where are you going? Coward! Alright, I need a new regiment of... Uh, Stop running away, you cowards! Get over there! I'm gonna kill this thing myself! I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. You know what? It's time. Break out the Devastator. Prepare to be terminated. I terminate with extreme prejudice. Yeah! You know what, you stupid little blue thing? Suck it. There. Yeah, I said it. Uh. I'm gonna blow apart your little crab buddies, too. Yeah, maybe we can all go to Long John Silver's for a nice seafood platter. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna use the Devastator. You know what? Screw all their weapons. I'm just gonna use the Devastator. The Devastator, my ridiculously overpowered rocket launcher thing that I love so very, very much from the bottom of my freaking heart. Alright. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. 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 I forgot about this thing. Alright. This this ship, it will appear whenever you come out here. It will shoot rockets at you. Your only defense. You cannot take it down at this point. So you need to just run. Run. Run for your life. Run, run, run. You can't. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the cat bear Lomax thing. Okay. One thing I do love about this room, though, is basically just an egg made out of metal, so you can just walk up the whole thing with your magnet boots. You can stand on the ceiling if you want to. Okay. Infobots. Hello again, everyone. Supreme Executive Chairman Drek here to fill you in on our progress. We have now found the perfect orbit for our planet. One which will allow for the optimum temperature. Wait, 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 wait. I just realized something. Hang on a minute. Drek makes these messages to send to the other blarg. Where are they? Where are the citizens of Orxon? Where are the rest of the blarg? Where are they staying while Chairman Drek is constructing their new world? Seriously, did, are we ever given any information of this? Where are the Blarg? I mean, obviously the ones that work for Drek are there, you know, with him, but what about the ones that are just, you know, regular citizens, like, you know, carpenters or lumberjacks or stuff? I mean, is there some sort of intergalactic hotel where they're staying at or something? I, I, I don't know. Oh yeah, and then here's the cheesy, you know, touchy-feely scene where we start to realize, Ratchet! Does care? Oh, how adorable. Okay, yeah, sure, whatever. Oh yeah, that's just to show that you know, when you're using your magnet boots, you can't jump. All right. Um, I think I'll just cut this part. So, yeah. We're still here, everybody. Okay. Well. I'd say that just about does it for this episode. So, next time on Let's Play Ratchet and Clank, we will be doing the other thing that can be found here on Planet Orxon. Here's a little hint. It involves commercialism and energy drinks. Alright, see you guys later.